Now joined by Chris Cluey. He is the bassist for the band Tripping Icarus. He is also a supporter of Marriage Equality, and in his free time, he plays video games as well as occasionally punts for the Minnesota Vikings. Does that basically sum you up in a nutshell, Chris? I also read books, too. Of course you do. Yeah, because you're a well-rounded guy. (laughs) Uh, Right off the bat, what is your favorite book? Uh, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Okay, a little sci-fi in there. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the music, since this is actually a music show. The first question I have for you is, for people that aren't really familiar with Tripping Icarus, give us a little bit of the history of the band, maybe a little bit of a brief bio. Uh, Well, it started in that I was really, really good at Guitar Hero, and I wanted to learn how to play an actual instrument. And I had been violin for about seven years growing up, so I had a musical background. And then um, I knew my guitarist, Andy Reiner, through video games. He's the executive editor at Game Informer. And so we were kind of playing guitar here in rock band together. And he had mentioned he'd been in a band before. So I told him, you know, if you can kind of put up with me learning on the job, I'd, I'd like to, you know, try starting a deck. I think it would be fun. So he called up his drummer, uh, Matt Marshall. This was about four and a half years ago. We started uh, practicing, uh, made sound, finally found a sound, you know, we were we were comfortable with that we liked. Um started practicing, you know, for about six or seven months. And then uh, we're trying to find a vocalist. And then uh, finally Matt mentioned he'd known a guy in a side project named Jesse Rebel, who who he thought would fit. And so Jesse came by practice, really liked it. And yeah, that was how Tripping It first formed. So your musical background, in a sense, kind of started with playing Guitar Hero? Yeah, well, in, in terms of making me want to start a band, you know, growing up, I, I listened to kind of 90s era, you know, rock. Uh, K-Rock was, was the main station I listened to in, in Southern California. That's where I grew up. So, you know, a lot of, uh, like, Blink-182, Rage Against the Machine, Tool, Soundgarden, um, Nirvana, you know, kind, kind of that, that 90s era of music. I know that your band has had a few releases here in the past. You had a four-song EP in 2009 called Sideshow Sessions. And then in 2011, you released your first LP called Perfect Citizen. Where is your band at now, and what do you see happening here in the future? Well, right now we're recording our fourth CD. Um, we, we actually finished up our third CD, Simulacrum, which you can find digitally. We, don't, we haven't done physical copies of that yet. That's in the works. Uh, we're we're finishing up our fourth CD, um, you know, just trying to trying to finish up the vocals and, and edits and stuff, and hopefully that'll be done sometime in the next couple months. Um, after that, you know, we'll hopefully just write some more music and uh, maybe maybe have a fifth CD. I know this is kind of a difficult question to answer, but for people who haven't heard your music before, how would you describe the music of Tripping Icarus? Um, I would describe it as uh, kind of '90s rock uh definitely um you know heavier stuff but but with melodies and uh you know hopefully it's it's like if tool and an audio slave and rage against the machine had a love child that would that would (laughs) ideally be what i was going for okay well that's an interesting description as far as songwriting goes is it a group effort or is there one person who kind of pulls the weight uh, it's it's totally collaborative. Um, like I'll I'll come in with a riff, or Andy, our guitarist, will come in with a riff, or Jesse will come in with a riff, and and we'll just kind of build off it. We'll each we'll each write our own parts, and then um, you know just go from there. Well, I think we've talked enough about what the music sounds like. Let's let people hear it for themselves. Going to play a track here called Caged Spring. What should people know about it? Uh, about Caged Spring, well, it's it's basically about the fact that. You know, there are, there are people out there, you know, who want to, who would like to take everything from you. And, you know, you, they can only take as much of your soul as you're willing to give them. So it's, uh, you know, hope, hopefully people listen to the message and realize, you know, you don't, you don't have to sell yourself to, uh, to corporations. Well, we're going to go ahead and play this track. We'll be back with just one more segment with Chris Cluey. Again, this is a song called Caged Spring by our featured artist this week, the band Tripping Icarus, right here on KSSU Radio. That was a track called Caged Spring by this week's featured artist, the band Tripping Icarus. I'm joined once again by their bass player, Chris Cluey. And I think that I would be amiss if I didn't ask you, you know, obviously you are involved in a lot more than just Tripping Icarus. And it seems like lately in particular, you've been extremely vocal in your support of marriage equality. My question is, why is that? And what really resonates with you about this issue? Well, for me, it's an issue of basic human rights. I, I was brought up to believe that you should treat other people the way you want to be treated. And, um, you know, it, it kind of bugs me the fact that right now there's a significant portion of American citizens who pay their taxes, who serve in our military, that aren't being allowed to claim the same legal benefits under federal law that everyone else is. And, 
So for me, that's that's discrimination, plain and simple. And uh, you know, I, I was asked to get involved with the uh, the, the Minnesotan uh, Marriage Amendment Act by Minnesotans for Equality. You know, they they wanted to know if I would help them defeat it. And I said, yeah, I mean, that, this, this seems like the right thing to do because right now in Minnesota, they're trying to make marriage uh, permanently illegal between uh, same-sex couples by codifying it as only between a man and woman in the state constitution. And, you know, I, I really see that as kind of an in run around the law because it, you're you're trying to, to go to the constitution so that no future generations can ever, you know, change it. And, and to me, that's not how our political process works, as well as being discriminatory against same-sex couples. So what would you say to people if you had, say, 30 seconds to really get them to change their viewpoint on this? What would be the one main message that you would really want to drive home with them? Uh, I would say to them that, you know, would you be happy with other people taking away your right to marry? I mean, it's, it's really that simple. It's, it, gay marriage does not affect you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the only way it'll affect your children is if your children turn out to be gay and then can't get married. So, I mean, it, it really does boil down to treat other people the way you want to be treated and and right now, that's that's simply not happening with the opposition to same-sex marriage. Before we get back to talking a little bit more about your music and your band, I did see a story this week where, I believe it was on Tuesday, you spent all day in a wheelchair. What was that about, and what was that experience like for you? Uh, that was to raise awareness for spinal cord injuries and uh, and research, you know, to, to help develop a cure for, for spinal cord injuries. Um the, the guy doing it was, uh, he's filming a documentary to hopefully, you know, air and, and convince people that, hey, this, this is something, you know, we, we need to fund, we need to get money uh, for. And, you know, I, I was happy to help out because it's, it's one of those things where you can't really experience what it's like, you know, to, to not have the use of your legs until you, you know, you spend a day rolling around in someone else's wheels. And, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was interesting to see how much I require my legs to do things. You know, obviously, as a punter, I need them to, to punt, but... You know, just being able to walk around and, and just being able to, to move from place to place. And, you know, the, the other thing is that there's a whole host of other problems that go along with, with spinal cord injury. It's like, you know, just sitting in the chair for 12 hours that my, my butt was, you know, falling asleep. And I was, I was starting to get, you know, the pressure sores and stuff like that. So it, it's really a, a debilitating condition. And, you know, I, I wanted to help help him find a way to, you know, get funding to help find a cure. Upcoming shows, uh, we have a show October 27th at um, the Triple Rock. We'll be playing with uh, a bunch of other people. Um, I think uh, one, one of the guys from Soul Asylum will be there doing a solo thing for the benefit to, you know, kind of help help support marriage equality in Minnesota and, and defeat this amendment. And then on um, November 1st, we'll have a show at Hell's Kitchen, which is also a uh, uh, kind of a, a benefit and awareness thing to, to make people aware that you need to, you need to get out and, and vote no against this amendment in Minnesota. Uh, you can find us either at Facebook, uh, look up Tripping Icarus, or uh, trippingicarus.net is our, our kind of band homepage. That's where you can get music and, and T-shirts and stuff like that. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Chris Warcraft. I'll, I'll generally retweet everything the band does. Uh, you can also follow the band at Tripping Icarus, but that's pretty much just the Facebook uh, posts. So. We we have a variety of ways of getting in touch. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds like it. Good, people can check you out online. I guess my final question to you, Chris, is... What for you and I guess for the band as well, what is the end game for Tripping Icarus? What's kind of the ultimate goal or the ultimate vision? Well, I'd like the band to be successful. I mean, not not just for myself because it's, it's fun playing in front of people, but mainly for my, my drummer and singer because right now they have really crappy day jobs that, you know, they, they hate doing. And I, I would like to be able to, to have the band tour and, and make enough money for them to, to live on so they don't have to work at, at their their crappy jobs and they can actually, you know, do something they love doing, which is make music. So after football for you, perhaps tripping Icarus full time, touring, etc. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The problem is with football is that it's uh, a little bit busy during the season. <laughs> it makes touring. Fun. <laughs> yeah, I could see how maybe being a professional football player might get in the way of touring full time. So here at the end, I guess, is there anything that you want to say? Uh, regarding the band, just kind of an open forum here. Uh, not really. I mean, just come check us out on Facebook. Listen to the music. You know, you can you can listen to pretty much all the songs for free. You know, if you like it, uh, you know, feel free to download it. And uh, yeah, just uh, you know, support us. We'll we'll make more music.
One last time, that was Chris Cluey from the band Tripping Icarus. Thank you to him. Thank you for them for being our featured artists. I'll be playing one more song by them at the very end of this half of the show. It's going to be a song called Ballet of Fools, so stay tuned for that. Going to take a quick break here. We'll be back with more music after this on KSSU Radio.